Now, there are literally hundreds of different skills that you can do for your Amazon device, but how about setting them up completely personally? And sometimes you can also have a bit of fun. Just imagine this for someone that's looking after your child. What is the morning schedule? Okay, for the morning, the baby is really annoying and wakes up at about 4.30 a.m. Please feed her her bottle and then try to get back to sleep. Good luck, you'll need it. So that was just a little bit of fun, but in all seriousness, these skills are getting really clever and there are a few now that you can get really good information and really personalize them to you and your own situation. And they're very easy to set up. And in this video, I'm going to give you a few examples of that and then show you how to set them up and how to implement them. And these will work on any Echo device that you might have. So sit back, enjoy and relax. Oh, and by the way, you're not gonna hear this word. I'll make sure that every time this word is mentioned, I will mute it out. So you can have your device with you and set it up at the same time. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is open up your app and make sure that you've got to this screen and this is where we're going to start. So I'm first of all gonna show you where you access the skills in order to do this and then I'll show you how we implement it and how we can make some changes. It's gonna be a step-by-step, -step, very easy to follow, so make sure you grab your device and we can start. For the purposes of this video, I'm using my iPad app and so that's why it may look a little bit squarer than what yours will do if you're using a phone. Okay, the first button we're going to click is the lines in the top left corner, and then we're going to click on things to try. So this is a really good screen for you to get to know your device. There's all different things that you can do. You can go in and see what's new. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to be going to skill blueprints. And here we're going to be able to access all the different things that we can then change and customize. Okay, so it's in this next screen that we can go in and start to make some changes. And you'll get an idea of some of the things that you can do by reading the prompts on the screen. But we're going to head right back up to the top and we're going to be clicking on where it says tap to visit blueprints.amazon.co.uk. Okay, so in this section, you can see all of the different blueprints that other people have made. And you can see here, there's some things called chore chart, roasting your family and friends, and you can really make them incredibly personal. And we're gonna show you a couple of those today. We're gonna to go in and have a look at the babysitter, which is the one which you saw right at the beginning of this video. And we'll also look at things like Q&A, and maybe we'll just have time for one more, like pet sitter something along those lines so the skill that i made previously was babysitter and effectively what i've gone in and done is gone into the babysitter skill and then just edited it and it's just like editing a word document and all you're doing is when you're setting a question you're also then setting an answer so if i for instance go in and edit this you'll get an idea of what i mean Okay, so all these questions have been preset by the person that actually made the skill in the first place. And you can see that we've got a section here called daily schedules. And so what you heard at the beginning of this video was when asked for the morning schedule, says the baby is really annoying, blah, de, blah, de, blah. And there's all of those other different things. You can set an evening schedule. So for instance, when your babysitter arrives, they can just quickly say, what is the evening schedule? And here, as you can see, I'm typing in, when the babysitter will ask about allergies, then we'll say she is allergic to sleep, but other than that, nothing else. She is allergic to sleep, but other than that, nothing else. I can also give you information on medications or other special notes. So as you can see, it reads it back brilliantly. And again, we can do exactly the same if we went into the when asked about medications, we can now fill in that section and that will give you a result, something like this. Her none, but I take two bottles of wine per day and that helps numb the pain. How do I lock the door? Lift up the handle and then turn the key. Where can I find the diapers? In the downstairs bathroom. What are the emergency contacts? There's just one contact. Here is contact info for David, Dad, 12345678. Now, when you've completed all of those sections, all you need to do is click on update skill and then that will update it automatically. So hopefully you can see you can have a bit of fun, but you can also have some really useful information. But what about a really welcome greeting when you first open the skill? Open my babysitter. 
Hello, and thanks for babysitting today. You were literally the last person on our list. Everybody else has babysat for us before and knows what a nightmare the little devil child is. Okay, so hopefully you're getting the idea of what these skills can do. Now let's look at a couple of others. So the pet sitter one is also another one where you can do very similar. Open Pepper Care. Hello, and thanks for looking after Pepper today. Her owners are really lazy and have dumped her on you. Speaking of which, she has probably left a steaming poo in the back garden for you to clear up. Thanks. So guys, that's just an example of another funny greeting that you could give whoever's looking after your dog. But again, in all seriousness, there's some really good information in here. You can go in and give exactly the precise details of what you want and how you want your pet looked after. And there's also things like emergency contacts and things like that. Where is the dog food? Okay, in the small room of the hallway. So another really good skill that you can customize is quiz. Now this is effectively where you can go in and set the questions and also the answers. And again, you can either have some fun with the family or it can be really serious. You can do anything that you want to. Open my family quiz. Welcome to your quiz. These are some of the easiest questions available. So make sure you get them right. Which of the children is the cleverest? In 2018, Amy gave birth to a baby. Was it Alfie or Freya? Alfie. So I just love how you can customize this. I've made it for the young children, which is gonna be quite easy answers, but you can make this about general knowledge, make it personal to your family. You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. And when you do give an answer, you can even give a follow-up fact, something like this. Great job. You now have one point. Alfie has a brother called Owen. He really likes animals and the daddy lion is his favorite. Because this is perfectly editable, you can have various different quizzes. So the actual quiz is called My Quiz, but if you want to change it to My Family Quiz, for instance, then you can do that. And you can create a different quiz for different occasions and just call them different names. There's no limit to how many you can have. You then just click Create Skill and then it's done. Now, another skill that I wanted to show you just before this video ends is custom Q&A. And as it sounds, this is where you can make your own questions and then give your own answers. And there's obviously thousands and thousands of uses for this. Now, one, for instance, that springs to mind is if you've got somebody that requires some care, then you can set your own questions for that. I'll give you an example with what I've set here. So the questions that I've set are, what do I need to do this morning? And who am I seeing this week? What do I need to do this morning? Take your blue tablets. They are in the top drawer by the side of the cooker. Who am I seeing this week? The carer will come on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. John will visit Tuesday morning and Julie will be with you all day Thursday. So my friends, I'm sure you can see there are some really practical uses for these skills. And it'd be really great if you could share some of yours. What do you use your skills for? And have you set up custom skills that maybe you could share with other people? Guys, thanks as always for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one and have a great holiday season.